Hi everybody, welcome to the other episode of Heroes Inclusion. I'm Daniel Fedora, the founder of the Heroes Inclusion. Yes, today I would like to discuss about one of the most topics, commercial topic, I will discuss here today. And one of the most conversational, convers uh, the episode ever I'd like to, to speak about. So first off, for those of you who join me, thank you for joining me on this on this afternoon time for Heroes Inclusion episode, because today I will discuss about athletes' mistakes. That will be today's episode called Athletes Mistakes. What I mean is I will discuss about what it's about and all of that. Before we talk about here today, please make sure you subscribe on YouTube channel called Heroes Inclusion. Make sure you follow on Instagram and follow on Facebook. Without further ado, guys, um, hi everybody. Um, thanks for joining in, and I hope everybody can enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Cause today we're gonna get started. So let's sit back, listen, and enjoy. Today we're gonna talk about athletes' mistakes, and I may not go over this much. I want to talk about through my experiences. And I want to talk about what you could learn from mistakes on the, along the way. When it comes to being an athlete. When it comes to the fitness industry. When it comes to sports industry. So let's, why not discuss it right here and right now. Alright guys, let's speak on behalf on Heroes Inclusion. And let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's start off number three. Called Lack of Sportsmanship. Lack of Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship means, for example, like you're not always disrespect your teammates, but you disrespect yourself. Not only you disrespect the coaches, but you disrespect the, the team. So a lack of sportsmanship means you're taking too much pride. You you put yourself all always about INT. You don't put what everybody else focus on a team. You put it on yourself. And that's one of the most biggest mistakes that athletes make. Because that's where you you may won games in a while, but somehow you may lose games. Because of the lack of sportsmanship. Because you say you will shake your hand to your point. You don't shake your hand. You put in a point fingers. You will fight about it. And, and that's exactly why it's happening. Because of it. So a big mistake is, is a lack of sportsmanship means... Disrespect to not only to your teammates and coaches, your opponents, or anything, but to yourself. So what you can you do to correct mistake is you gotta maintain your humble. You gotta be humble for every sport and when it comes to fitness as well. Speaking of the fitness, I would say the extra mistakes. I would say undertrain and overtrain. It the the difference in that you don't want to feel overtrained like. Like, like more than three or four times a week of per train. And then if you overtrain, let's say before the competition, if you overtrain yourself, your body is going to hurt your muscles, going to hurt your bones, and you're, you'll set yourself for the long term with injuries and concussions too. Don't let the mistakes get the best of it. And oh, most of all, when a lack of sportsmanship is the biggest mistake, it's like you think you're the best athlete, but no one is better. You think someone's better than anything else? Guess what? Big mistake. It will hit you. You'll beat up your knees if you learn how to lose. Just like you want learn how to win, but at the same time, you learn how to lose too. So, when it comes to sportsmanship, you gotta have humble. You gotta have the dedicated to the sport, and most of all, you wanna be able to have fun. Without any cause, what whatever is necessary, because every life matters. So most importantly, what I learned my what I learned along the way when it comes to sportsmanship is no matter what happens a, between before or after the game, you always gotta shake your hand. You're important. That's gonna make a good sportsmanship. And most of all, shake hands and hug. That's like a good things on sportsmanship. So to be the best sportsmanship. Humble is a main thing to have. And when, it, and when it comes to that, let's talk about number two. Ignore your health. 
Ignore health. Biggest mistake is like not only you have not only the lack of training, but a lack of nutrition and every health areas in your life you might have. For example, you are dealing with stress, you will be dealing with the emotions, you will be dealing with your sleep, you will be dealing dealing with where you have nutrition. And because I'm gonna tell you something, just like I talk about mental health and nutrition in other videos. So for those of you, um, I kind of like similar to talk about when it comes to knowing health. Check it out on the previous videos between mental health and nutrition, between mistakes and solutions, between nutri nutrition and how can you maintain your mental health. Check it out on your last videos on YouTube. But what I meant to say, biggest mistake is when you put yourself committed out there, if you're willing to train, put your best ability to play for the sport or your fitness or your fitness goals, you got to Dedicate your time to your health because health everything is important You always got to put health in your top priority because the biggest mistake When people make is when they don't put health first they put things first, you know and Like I say don't get me wrong through family friends. It's normal that people say oh family comes first That's normal. That is okay, but to do that can't just think about family first. You gotta also put your health first as well. But either way, to spend time with your family, to do the things you love, including your job, including hobbies, including everything you love, you always gotta put your health first, no matter what circumstance is. Like if your goal is you wanna you wanna you wanna to have something you never dream of, put your health first, okay? Because honestly, if you don't put your health first later on, there will be serious consequences. I'm not saying that you can't put your health first. I, I'm not saying you, you can't have health in your priorities. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying the best thing to do is put your health in your top priority so you can be committed, so you have the time to know, check out your health, like what's wrong with your body. You gotta take care of your body with your health you know, without getting sick. Because I know a lot of people get sick. Including me, I get sick also. But I gotta continue to maintain it so I don't lose the balance every day. So make sure you don't fall apart. That's why the solution is do it, be self-disciplined. Be self-control, all of it, when it comes to health. That way, you'll be with your family, you'll be here when you work for the jobs, you'll be here for everything else. So most important thing when it comes to health is fitness and nutrition, okay? There are no excuse for that. Because without that, you're going to be in a long-term health issue consequences. So always put your health in the top priority. That's the solution I can give you. And last but not least, the number one, the number one mistakes that athletes make is lack of commitment. You see, it's like no matter what they do, right? Like you want to do the sport. And the problem is, the reason why it's a lack of commitment, the reason for that, it's not because of transportation. It's not because you're working. It's because of lack of time management issue. And you don't, and you're saying that you were promised to be in practice or you were promised to be in fitness class. What's going to happen till then? Biggest mistake what athletes make is is they don't show up. So the most importantly is be committed to yourself. Be committed to the training you do. If you love the sport, if you want to train, go for it. If you want to do a fitness classes, be committed to it. Because at the end, everything is going to pay off. Everything is going to be worth it if you do it. You see, that's a solution you need to make. You gotta, you gotta start asking yourself, know your whys, know your everything. So yes, like I said before, you need to take your time to commit yourself every day. It's no matter what it is you can do. If you, if you want to do with the sport and the fitness, go for it. Make the time measurement. What I taught myself, you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little bit of my story. All right. 
Like a committed, committed is very important, all right? I committed myself to do health, the sport, and everything I do for, for a living because I need to continue to work at it. You know, I need to keep myself busy, accountable, and, and also be here one way or another to make a life matters, make a matter moments, in case you people don't understand. But it's very important to know that committed really matters now. Whatever there's no committed or committed, but at the end of the day, you got to put your health committed first to it. Because without that, you will deal with consequences, no matter what it is. So, it's very important to take care of your health, because this is a must-need situation. Just like you need to buy clothes as needed, just like you need to buy food, just like you have to pay rent. Same thing with health. you got to put your health first. That is a top priority when I need to take. Whatever you want to believe me or not, health is very important for me and very important to the others too. So committed really matters. So you got to be committed to take care of your, take your best priority in yourself. But just you know, if you have problems, make sure you maintain your schedule. You know, if it happens one day, that's fine. But don't take it too many days of missing practices or missing fit fitness classes or health or else issues could be going along the road. Don't let the excuses get the best of it. You know, if you want to get out of the house, you want to get out of this trouble, we here to help you. We help you to get out of this, get out of the comfort zone. Do yourself a favor. Make sure you get out of the comfort zone. Make sure you help yourselves. Make sure you know what you can do to get out of it. This is the reason why I built the Heroes Inclusion since a pandemic happened. And since COVID happened, this is the reason that I doing the Heroes Inclusion. That's what really matters to me. So these are mistakes they made. Called lack of sportsmanship, know your health, and most of all, lack of commitment. That's really important. These top three you wanted to remember by then. You're welcome to watch the video again, but whenever your top three mindsets needs to have, top three, or you could think is a top three. So this is what really matters right now. So if you're watching this right here, here today on this Heroes Inclusion on episode called Athletes Mistakes, you're going to see the full potential yourself. You'll see the new version of yourself because the goal is at the end of the day, we want, we're here to help others to succeed. We want to help. We help, we will make sure you will help yourself to get better in life and live in a healthy independence, become independence, and be the best version of yourselves to succeed. That's our vision to everybody. And I know it's, I know it's going to be hard at first, but in the end, it's going to pay off all because of hard work and dedication to it. And by the way, yes, just like I did my time in Special Olympus, just like I did to everybody else's time. I did it inside and outside Special Olympus. And now in here, here was inclusion. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys. And I'm doing it for myself and for others to make sure you get in the best shape, live the best healthy lifestyle that you can be. So before I close out this on uh, here was inclusion, Make sure you, make sure, you know, if you want to work, looking to do training for 30 minutes for, for fitness session for the meantime, you know, please DM a message to me as possible and we'll get to that. All right. And, and like I say, most of all, most importantly is make sure you have fun. You want to make sure you stay healthy and make sure you're part of this inclusion. Because whenever the matter is, it's you're the hero to this. Because make sure you are the hero to this and heroes, to, to the hero's inclusion. So, without further ado, guys, I think that's pretty much it. So, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me here today on this episode, Hero's Inclusion. And there's a lot of more episodes to come. Whenever I have a chance to discuss it on the next one, I will keep you posted. Will it be next week or two weeks? But however, just you know, the Heroes Inclusion, it may be about health and fitness, but also about sports and also.
the the future broadcast, which is coming soon once again. So I will still keep you updated. No updates at this time, but I will definitely keep you updated. In the meantime, I will continue post with the sports, the fitness videos, and motivation video and posts and the nutrition. Why nutrition? To know what would be the better way to eat healthy more than everything else. So I will continue post it each and every each and every almost every single day. So let's keep that in mind guys. Alright everyone, without further ado, thank you so much for joining me. And hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Stay productive. And most importantly, be a hero of inclusion. Have a productive day and take care. Have a good day.